what's up squad so i haven't recorded like in like three months no i won't say that i did i have content just sitting on my phone procrastination i don't know life <laughs> but anyway this is how long ago i've been like hoarding stuff uh that i want to unbox because i know that one of you guys said recently you like to see me unbox things so i got this from Grazi. it's a it's actually a back to school box <laughs> So I got this like August, late August, mid August. Anyway, I've had this for a while. So if you watched my channel before, Grazi is an app that sends free samples and free things. It's like mostly like, sometimes it's like food and it'll be like packaged. I did a video one time. I think I got like free hydration drink or something. Um, can't remember what else I got, but it's an app on that you can download on your phone why did i have to say app <laughs> it's an app <laughs> it's an app that you download on your phone and basically you fill out a little bit of your information almost as you would do with the survey app basically just to get like your demographics because there's samples and things that they do give out they're particular to the person that's receiving them like for example it's just like when you do surveys they want to know if you qualify demographically. So let's say they ask you if you have a pet. Well, you may get an offer for a pet sample or something like that. Um, I do check like a lot of the boxes. And the reason why I check most of them is because I want to show you guys. <laughs> and Deja, my daughter, she's 18. So she won't need this. I may give it away. I don't even know what's in it. But the last time I got a back to school box, it had like school snacks and it had i think i ate some of the snacks it had stickers and stuff this was last year this was like when grazi was first like not first coming out because i don't know the initial date this isn't sponsored but it was like fairly new and new it was new to me so i think it had been out for just like a few months or so but if you know when grazi came out whatever feel free to correct me on it but this is when it started getting gaining popularity and traction over the deal hunter community couponing community and stuff and i caught wind of it and i was like what is grazi like i was seeing it around but i was like i don't know if it's cheesy or if it's going to be one of those sample things that's like annoying that sends you spam and stuff but it was easy it's an app and i don't know do i have it on this phone um let's see i remember getting locked out of my account or something and having to start over. I don't remember. Oh, I actually do have it on this phone. So um, this was like the last uh, thing I see here. It was in October. Um, let's see. This is like the initial welcome message in the app and it's in the offers tab, but there's a profile tab as well where you will enter in the information and it doesn't take very long. But anyway, the offers and samples go quickly. Um, so I just check the app periodically because I've had, I turn on notifications and I don't always get alerted. I might hear about it and then I'll run and see if it's anything left. But needless to say, oh, more snacks. <laughs> I hope these not stale. <laughs> they shouldn't be stale, but stickers. And this box is over with, but it's just to give you an idea of what, when they send stuff, they are pretty generous with it. And there's no requirement to share it, but it's encouraged. And that's why I started sharing it because I thought it was nice that they give you all this free stuff. This actually just shows you the contents of the box. And there is like a craft that came. If you got this box, the back to school box a few months ago, let me know in the comments if your kids liked it, if they used it. I mean, this is like the box is where they could like break it down and color on it and make something out of it. It's really cool. They put mots in here, check mix. I'm actually tired and hungry. It's a Sunday and I just got from church. So that's why I'm going through these <laughs> snacks real quick in this box. Um, that's why I'm showing you really quick. I'm not really, I'm going through the box. But this is a summer strawberry. What is this? Annie's, it feels soft. Oh, it might be gummies. Annie's, that came in the box. Oh my gosh, the dog is right next to me. <laughs> All he hears is like the package rustling. 
Cheerios. Okay, I can get with this. Cheerio veggie blends, <laughs> apple strawberry. Okay, first of all, apple is a fruit and so is a strawberry. Hmm. But it's made with a fourth cup of fruits and veggies. Okay, it's gluten free. So this must be on the healthier side of things. I haven't tried these. What's this? I think this is, oh, it's a crossword puzzle, stickers and stuff. See, that? these boxes are pretty generous. Um, I should give this to my sister. She's a teacher. It has a little clip. That's cute. I just want to do, it's so cute. Like, okay, I'm going to stop annoying you. That's annoying. It came with post-it notes. I could use these, but I think it's probably, it probably would be nice to give this to her. Um, what else is in here? They were generous with the stacks. Cookies. And what is this? More cereal? Aww. Pencil holder. This is so nostalgic. So this was cute. This was a nice little box. Aww. So if I get more boxes, I'll try to be more diligent and studious with showing you guys in advance. <laughs> I've been cheating on y'all with Facebook, honestly. It's just easier for me to rant on there, vent, and talk about my thoughts and there's less editing involved but i gotta stop being lazy i like totally neglect this y'all i know y'all hear this speech like every other time i make a video but i'm human and i'm real so yeah that's one of the reasons why i haven't been vlogging i'm a very private person and in the past if you've been following me for a while you've been subscribed to my my channel go tiffany if you're not subscribe and like this video but i have been transparent about my journey with anxiety and major depression and sometimes i go down the rabbit hole and i don't have interest to do a lot of things so i try to push myself by getting exercising walking getting out looking at nature i mean i'll be looking at the butterflies <laughs> i walk with the dog um that's how how deep I am to, you know, connect with nature and stuff like that. But I really like hanging outside, just getting fresh air and stuff. And it does lift my spirits. It lifts my mood. Um, sunlight. <laughs> These are a lot of things that I talked about, like with my therapist and my psychologist um, to do the reset. And the funny thing is, if anybody else is experiencing this, I actually told my psychologist months ago and I felt bad about it. Like I didn't want to open up and say anything, but I was like, sometimes I just crash. Like my thoughts are like displaced. I have a short attention span. I want to do everything like all at once. Like I don't want to like mentally, it'll like torment me. I want to, if I have my list of to do things in my head, I'm like wanting to read a book, uh, study. <laughs> watch a movie <laughs> watch a k-drama nollywood um i love nigerian movies and walking the dog i want to walk the dog um work out it's like so much like i get anxiety about everything that i want to do and sometimes i'm like it just i just gotta stop and take a break and breathe but the recommendation i told her i just go take a nap and i thought she was gonna be like take a nap she was actually like no do what you got to do if that helps you reset and start over and i'm grateful that i can just take a nap in in the middle of the day um just about just about any time i want just about but um yeah sometimes it's necessary and also don't be ashamed about your journey of healing therapy whatever no this is random it was supposed to be an unboxing but don't be ashamed because there's like a lot of people dealing with the same thing. Mine somewhat stemmed from, or it heightened, I'll say it heightened because there was things that, you know, of course, things that happened in the past, but my depression and I was diagnosed, I didn't really realize that's what it was because I used to just like after work, go home and just sleep like, and Deja would be like with her aunt or her grandma, um, you know, I would just sleep and I would be so drained because of different situations. Like 
my previous divorce before I got remarried. What really triggered it is getting remarried and we were not married very long. Then I became a widow, widow. he passed away. So yeah, so sometimes I disappear, but not like that. <laughs> but sometimes, yeah, and I'm just like, I don't have energy to do things. Like sometimes I'll sit in silence. I don't have the energy to watch TV. I love movies. I love catching up on shows and stuff. But sometimes I don't have the energy to go walk. But I got a dog. So that is like mandatory. So, which is another thing. It was good to get Vico because when he has to go out, I have to go out. Like I have to take care of him. I have to do things. Deja, she's older. She's 18. So she's like doing her own thing and stuff like that but she's a motivator too she's a big motivator we're gym buddies now so she's huge with that because i sometimes i don't feel like going it's really discipline motivation doesn't last forever but with her actually being my gym buddy for the last maybe i say i say serious this year she's been like more so like serious i hope she doesn't mind me saying this but i'm a proud mom so i don't care <laughs> but anyway so that is another reason why second i was genuinely frustrated y'all i was so mad i um got my dressing clothes because i think in my last video or the video before i unboxed dressing so it's not like dressing with the g <laughs> like thanksgiving it's called dressing and dressing is like Timu and Shein together. Like Timu and Shein together. <laughs> I'm laughing because I was saying it so fast one day and I was talking to Deja and I was like, Timu Shein. She was like, what? I was like, no, I meant Timu and Shein. <laughs> but anyway, it's very similar with clothes that are cheaper. It's not like your uh, fabric like Lyocell or you know something more like cashmere no you're gonna get like regular standard clothes like this sweater this top i got my sister actually bought this for me it's from boohoo and um it's like a flutter sleeve it's, it looks balloon like so that's why i'm looking like i gained more weight but it's really loose y'all i've been in the gym it's loose i'm gonna be ready for the summer anyway but dressing without the g dressing um they have like clothes like tees tanks dresses everything and it's so super cheap so when dressing first came out i ordered and they have a referral program it may be a little bit different now but if you want to check it out i'll look give you the link because they give you money as a credit when you do your first order and when you sign up or something like that so i ordered and i got like all these shirts and stuff paid like two dollars yeah it was crazy because they were trying to like get their app out just like timu and uh, that's kind of how Timu was kind of like gen super generous in the beginning. But anyway, they're, to me, they're not clothes that you can wear like forever and ever and ever with the quality. But I like getting clothes like this nice because it forces me to, I like to shop. So I'm like, okay, I had like so many wears out of this, get something else. They sent me a lot for cheap, plus the referral program. So if you like those kind of clothes, um, I have another store in mind that it reminds me of, but my memory it escapes me i can't think of the store but you guys know timu Shein. okay so i thought about it i was like i still have some of the clothes that i ordered over the summer let me just go and grab what i have so this dress i never wore but i got like one in black i wore the black one and i got it was a top same material you know uh this might be cotton, a little bit of spandex or something, but it's like, it's cinched on the side a little bit. So it's like those maxi dresses, or you could call it like a bodycon. This is shorter, but the material is standard. It's nothing like super special. I might wear it for y'all one day, but I do like the dress. Like it's easy slip on, going to the grocery store, going wherever, but anyway this one i got this one in another color but the day i wore it i was with biko and brisket biko is my dog brisket is my sister's dog and they were acting crazy and they just scratched up they were in between both of them in between in between grooming <laughs> getting their nails filed down because 
Biko doesn't let me do it. He doesn't let me like try to file his nails or clip them. He hates it. But anyway, this one's kind of, it's longer and I liked it. It's comfortable. It's loose. And like I had a few, quite a few other pieces. I had a crop top. I had another, maybe one or two or more of those dresses. Um, a tank that I wore out. Like it, I wore, it was tattered. I had to. It was something easy to grab and wear and walk the dog, but I threw it away. It wasn't even enough to give it away. But anyway, <laughs> I'm rough with my clothes like that. And then I got two flutter sleeve tops like this. One is red and polka dot. It's like a red polka dot. And this one is just the stripes with the flutter sleeves and stuff. Only thing I didn't like is this is all on me though. It's so it was so roomy like this. So I'm working on my back fat. In this little section right here now i just had when i go to the gym i just been like i do what's easy or convenient at the time like if i'm working it on my phone i'll sit on a bike and i'm constantly just working 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 or on the treadmill i do it the best i can unless i need to pick up a little speed or the stairmaster but arms i have to put the phone down and use my hands so <laughs> lately i haven't been i have been this past week about two weeks been more conscious about it because it's something that i want to change again because i've been looking at my pictures when i was like in my 20s and super skinny and i was like i wasn't super skinny <laughs> but i was a lot smaller than i am now as far as like my face size of course so yeah that's the only thing i didn't like about this it was fluttering and you could just see like that little chunk but anyway that may be too much information for y'all, <laughs> but it's roomy. I always get like a bigger size because like I could have got this in like a large or comfortably a large or a medium if I wanted it fitting. Um, but anyway, I had that and a red and white polka dot flutter sleeve top. My next dressing haul, I will do my best to show y'all or I wear the clothes in the videos. I might even have some clips with clothes where I'm wearing the clothes, but that was over the summer. It's the fall now. Like I've been doing y'all dirty. I just love y'all. <laughs> I left y'all like a loser in a relationship. It's sad, but at least I'm honest about it. I'm really not fake. That's another reason why, cause I don't feel like, sometimes I don't feel like being a certain way. So that's why I'm just laid back talking like this cause I'm tired. I ain't trying to put on nothing. Put on no airs, as the elders say. I don't care. <laughs> I think this year did this. And some of you might can't identify with me. This year was so, like, crazy. Like, with all the things that's been going on news-wise in the world. Politics, we ain't going there because everybody has different views, opposing views. And I don't need nobody saying, who did you vote for? What did you do? Like, what are you saying on? Because like a lot of times people say live in your truth or stand up for what you believe in or stand in what you particularly believe in. And as soon as you voice your opinions and your thoughts, it's like, <laughs> I don't got time for that. It's just, I feel it's immature. I feel that more adults need better commu communication skills and emotional intelligence enough to know like, that people have a lot of opinions, thoughts, and views that we just don't know about. But yet, you still vibe with them, you still speak with them. So I never let something like an opinion like ruin a relationship unless it was something that was like rude, mean, and just disrespectful. Otherwise, then yeah, walk away. But I saw a lot of people, um, I'm looking at my TV, it's saying it uninstalls, install something about Oh, I need more space on my fire stick, whatever. Anyway, it was an app update that popped up. But basically, Biko, don't look at me like that. I'm almost done. I'll take you outside again. He wants to go on a walk, I guess, or he's hungry. But anyway, what was I talking about? Oh my gosh. Opposing views, yes. <laughs> so since we chatting and stuff, yeah, this was about like the election and things like that, but opposing views i just it just opened my eyes up to like the fact that you know 
who can be like so mature about just accepting that someone else may not believe in what you believe in and still being kind and to that person or having respect. I mean, that was just crazy. I'm, I'm almost like a neutral type. Like there's things I agree with on both sides, things I don't agree with on both sides, but just in general, it's just, you never know what some, what's in someone's head and what their thoughts are. People say one thing and they do something else. Sorry, I'm staring off guys because I'm thinking, thinking about all that drama and stuff that was like so not necessary. But anyway, I got another box. This is Pro's is skincare, I think. And the reason why I say I think is because I got this box like in the summertime and I was like, oh, I'm a vlog, I'm gonna unbox it. And I did. So y'all gonna see, I'm gonna start using it. It says your skin will thank you. It was a trial. This is not sponsored. I think I saw an ad and y'all know how much I love signing up for stuff. I saw an ad and I think you just had to pay for shipping. It was a free trial and that was it. And so I haven't ordered again because I just been having this box. It was supposed to be like motivation. I said, I really, even when I needed to re up like some skincare stuff, I need to start getting more because I used to be really into it like my daughter is now, but especially Korean skincare is the best. Anyway, but <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't open it. I, I even ordered like more stuff as opposed to opening this because I was saving it for y'all. I did say something for y'all. Hey, okay, so <laughs> I opened it and something fell out. It's like probably the manual manifesto to show what the contents of it is. Oh, this is cute. So I guess this card was in here. Yeah, it fits. It says for Tiffany is personalized. Even though I know everyone that orders gets this personalized, I don't know if they're still doing it. It just still makes you feel special. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says for Tiffany, so it made me feel special. I like opening stuff that, this is why I have a problem with opening because it feels like a gift. I'm just treating myself. And it's nice. It's a nice feeling. So it's a nice personalized card. It's personalized skincare. So I may or may not have asked, um, answered questions that they asked to personalize this box. So it says, welcome to truly personalized skincare. First things first in size. First things first. Inside you'll find your custom starter set, a fully personalized trial trial routine made to order just for you so this is supposed to be the trial starter set um i know in the past i've showed you guys curology no it wasn't curology it was um agency skincare which i think is curology's company if i'm not mistaken agency skincare and there was another one geology um that one which is similar where you answer questions so they can get like your routine and profile the cater products that are for you and i don't even remember if i chose these or if it was just what they had based on my personal skincare answers to their questions so we'll see but Oh, okay, yeah, so it is like that. This card inside is a detailed card and it says, answer a few questions about our current formulas. Ooh, I can't talk today, I'm tired, y'all. Church was good, but I'm tired. This is supposed to be an energy drink from Starbucks. It's giving me a little, a little pickup, but it's light work. Cause y'all know, if you follow me for a while, I like, I like caffeine, coffee, pre-workout. I'm responsible with it, but this just kind of like woke me up a little bit because I was going to take a nap. I told a friend, I was like, I don't, I actually, I was, oh, excuse me. <laughs> this drink. I told a friend that I was going to call and I was like, nah, I'm tired. I don't want to talk to you no more. <laughs> no, I said, I'm tired. I don't want to talk no more. I'm tired. Church was good. I'm exhausted. I was jumping like I was happy, praising, jumping. 
after I did that, it was some music going. Then I got on the drum. So like full body workout. I'm tired. But anyway, this is cute. It can also serve as a fan or a bookmark. <laughs> Any bookworms out there? When I get stuff like this, sometimes I'll grab if it's like thick. And I'm like, this gonna be my bookmark. I listen to Audible. I use Audible. Which right now they have a special. I'll put a link down below. But mostly now I'm into Audible because I don't have time to just sit and focus and read a book all the time. And when I read books like standard, you know, paperback books or whatever, paperback hardcovers, I like to be present in the moment so I can understand. And if it's something I don't understand, like as far as a term or something in the book, even if it's fiction, like if it's relatable to something in a town that's that maybe i don't know and i want to research i like to be present in the moment that way i could either take notes or know what's really going on so that's why i don't always like pick up the book if i'm just not but i really do need like a day on the beach reading or something like that or one of those relaxing staycation type days where i can just sit and read a break would be nice anyway so yeah oh okay so i think this is what it looks like after i took that out of the box and this is what they gave me a custom cleanser a custom serum and a custom moisturizer i like the box y'all this is not sponsored but I'm, I'm gonna put the link down anyway because it looks like a good gift and here's what i'll say about free trials i've done this in the past a lot if you see something that someone else likes and it's a subscription use a burner card which would most likely be a card like um Wavaro well, and Sofi they've kind of like turned into more of the bank a little bit away from fintech but if you find a card that is like that you can lock or a separate account not in your main account that just has a certain amount of funds in it um like Monzo um, I'll put a link down. They give you like $15 for signing up. It's easy to use. It's an easy app. Um, but you can lock and freeze your card. Or if a transaction tries to come through, there's no insufficient funds. So basically, that's good for subscriptions. I highly recommend not using your main bank account for uh, subscriptions that are recurring. Not like auto bills or auto pay, but like subscriptions that you may or may not be committed to. So you can save money if you forget to look at your reminder <laughs> or your calendar. Cause I have a reminder or calendar in my phone. I will turn the alert off and still forget. So sometimes I just, I'm more of a paper pen type person. I like to cross the list off. If I do that, I, if I really want to remember, I have to do multiple reminders. I know it's sad, but my head is all over the place a lot of times. I'll do an alert, I'll email myself or I'll I'll flag the email or I'll write it down. So I highly recommend that if you do a trial, but a lot of trials make good stocking stuffers and good gifts, especially like gifts for a friend or someone you're not like so serious with. It's inexpensive, but it's nice. Like this box, I like, I like the recyclable, like it says conscious care for all. I like that look like this. It's like, seems like paper like, but it's like, oh, they care about the environment. I don't know, organic style stuff is nice and it says made to order just for you today i know this backwards and it has the steps and the directions here so they didn't have to use extra paper outside of the other paper so i'm opening it and that is cute y'all this will make a gift good gift if you are like the gift and type order now this didn't take too long to get to me maybe a week a week and a half but i wasn't like highly anticipating it you know so one of those things that i just ordered i'm like oh i get a surprise you know soon in the mail oh but it's cute and it has my name on it okay so i'll start with the cleaner first let me put this to the side the cleaner comes in this bottle so cute oh it seemed kind of thick let me smell it y'all i hope i don't make a mess it smells good y'all it smells like trying to see what it's reminiscent of it reminds me of something <laughs> i'm like this yo this smells good okay it's gonna come to me and maybe i'll read what i don't know it's nostalgic 
it almost reminds me of vacation so it's familiar to me to one of the sense that a hotel or boutique hotel left hotel left or some soap i don't know but this is a see how thick it is this is a face clean cleaner so okay it's not like it's not heavy at all seems like an easy rinse but it has a little bit of like i won't say friction but <laughs> you'll have to add a good amount of water because i don't when i wash my face i don't use a washcloth i just use the soap you know a lot of people still do that only times i use a cloth is if i'm using a reusable cloth or if it's highly necessary for something but using the cloths and not having proper care can actually be bad for your skin especially if you don't use white wash cloths or cloths that you bleach out when you're done but anyway so i said that to say this it has like an oily type feel if you're using it you probably don't need very much to just rinse it off because it's one of those cleansers that if you use too much you splash on water everywhere trying to get it off but it actually came with this pump to put at the top so that was nice which it's a small pump which gives you the ability to save more and not have so much come out which is probably why the pump has like a tiny opening because of the consistency of it now this says number two custom serum and it has my name on it and it's so cute the little label green is my favorite color so i think that's why i'm like oh this is cute everything is cute i mean this is nice but i don't know next video i'm gonna be like i love this y'all sorry i love a lot of things i'm not being dramatic i just it doesn't take much to make me happy simple things like skincare oh my gosh get it doesn't take much to make me happy somebody that's like dealing with major depression that's crazy that's why probably why i shop so much <laughs> if i'm in a down mood but anyway custom moisturizer so this is number three of course wash your face do the serum then do the moisturizer hmm i need to get back into skincare because most of the time i don't know sometimes i don't like to i like I used to really be in a mask, maybe that's why. Sometimes having a mask on my face and just the feeling of depending on what kind it is annoys me. So the fact that there's the serum, the serum and the moisturizer, sometimes I usually put one at a time, like, but maybe I won't use that much. This is the moisturizer, typical moisturizer. Okay, it has a nice, that first smell, it remind me of the, some moisturizers or lotions that have like a chemical like smell that reminds you of like nostalgic cheap style lotion from back in the day before you know technology was advanced a little bit more and a lot of beauty products were like a little better so it smells like that at first but as I smell it longer it has another little scent after refreshing that I like a clean scent so this was pretty generous for a starter kit. This is more than a sample amount. Oh, they tell you when they bottled it and everything. This was bottled in August. Wow, I think I got it in September. This is 0.5 full ounces, 10 milliliters. So that's a nice size. It's a lot of stuff in there. So that's it for that box. What else did I want to tell you guys? Oh, I got this water. I have a blog post. It was buy one, get one free. Yeah, get a free bottle. So they teamed up with Isle. And basically, all you have to do is just buy it. And it was at my Publix or the ad said Publix. But you, once you click on it, you can see if it's going to be available at any store near you. Sometimes some of the Isle rebates um are available at any store sometimes they're particular to one merchant or retailer like walmart or target um i've seen a lot for sprouts that it'll be in a blog post or in several blog posts because i did i just started doing them so you can just get the number get the information real quick but it's easy all you do is buy it you 
sign up, provide your phone number, sometimes your email, you have to consent to it and they can text you. Um, then I always type stop to end it later, but basically they will give you a certain amount back, which covers, mostly it covers the amount of the drink. Um, so I got a deposit from Venmo for one of these. So I think those type of rebates are cool. If you plan on, I plan on drinking water anyway. Hello, gotta keep my skin clear. I gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> so that was a no brainer, but there's so many now. Um, I've seen a lot recently. Haven't got to do, haven't got to do any others. I think I was more concerned with like letting you guys know what the rebate was. Um, what the rebates were and what they are. So as I see them, I'm gonna just start putting them on my blog called Sweet Talk. And Sweet Talk is really an extension of my Instagram and my website. My Instagram is called Sweet Clips. I don't even know if I ever told you guys why it's named Sweet Clips. Deja actually named it years ago. I needed a hobby, I think it was like 2019. And I was posting more, I was posting more deals and coupons and offers then the whole wave of instagram the whole wave of instagram kind of changed the climate i mean social media is changing all the time so basically a lot of those pictures and things seem to be spammy for most people but there are still like i'm not necessarily a deal hunter but i do enjoy like if i find something i'll post it but there are other like deal hunters that still are consistent with posting hauls coupon deals and things like that me i'll just post like if there's an offer in my bio or something or if i'm working with a brand and they want me to post um i'm a micro influencer very on a small scale so basically sometimes i'll do like i think the last post i have up there is podium i left it there podium is a pre-workout and i love pre-workout so i left the picture up there but um I think there's a goalie gummies post up there anyway so i named it sweet clips well she named it sweet clips because at the time I was posting like coupon deals and things like that and my nickname was my name was it's sweet tea one of the nicknames i was called growing up sweet tea i was obsessed with a song or something like that and people said i'm sweet so it's sweet tea tiffany i don't know the name came about um so deja came up with sweet clips and that's where i came up with sweet talk <laughs> was it, I had a brain freeze my blog that is an extension of my website and Instagram and socials my website is sweetclips.com and I've been lazy with up, updating it too but it leads to the blog and that's pretty much it. it leads to the blog I'll post Amazon promo codes on there and stuff like that or deals and it's of course there's ads in there your girl gotta make some money hello <laughs> maybe one day i'll change it and diversify but i'm new so yeah you're gonna see a little bit of ads just hit the x and keep it moving or hit the ad if you wanna you know get like that but anyway <laughs> um yeah so i put the aisle rebate up there but that's yeah that's where sweet clips came from sweet talk the blog and um what else was I going to tell you guys? Hmm, maybe it wasn't important. But other than the previous blog I had in, about dressing, yeah, that was really annoying. That made me upset because I was like, oh, man, I had, it took me some courage. I wasn't trying them on, per se. I was just going to, like, show you guys when I wore the outfits. And, but I laid them all out on the, on this sofa. Yeah, this little sofa I got right here. This is my room slash office <laughs> but anyway i laid them all out and i must have went on a delete spree in my phone it, i feel like it was one of those delete sprees where i was upset or mad about something because i cleared out something that i was gonna use <laughs> and it's okay it was good practice um it wasn't i'll say it was it wasn't completely poorly executed, but I could have did better. I was in a rush. And I was like, I'm gonna push myself to try to vlog and put something up. And I just laid it all out and I left and didn't finish. <laughs> so that's that. So 
I would say that to say this. Um, there is some footage I'll add after this of a previous vlog. This was a few months ago when I went to the gym with my older sister Pam and we grabbed a few things. We went to the gym, so I was telling her, come to the gym with me, like we need to start working out. We ain't worked out again. It ain't on me, it's on her because she started back working. Um, she's a teacher and her job is a, a bit of a far further commute for her. So to meet her up afterwards, I don't feel like tax, taxing her with all of that because she has a lot going on as far as like dealing with kids all day. <laughs> so I even joined Planet Fitness again just to not go. I just go to another gym that's closer because the Planet Fitness that's near me is far. But I joined that gym because at the time my nephew was going to that particular location. So yeah in this video we're just like on the treadmill for a little bit and then we go to Publix if I mention a sale it's not valid no more it's old news <laughs> but I remember mentioning NCP shopper panel which is an app that you can download but you have to apply for it and you have to get approved for it um they give you the opportunity to scan barcodes on products so for example even though this was a rebate I can scan this barcode and they collect the da data, they collect the data. And that's what you agree to, to sign up, do surveys or whatever to get gift cards. And I pretty much get my Amazon gift cards from there um, after doing like surveys and things like that. So I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell you guys, but if I don't, There was something else I wanted to tell you guys. I don't remember, but I will add all of the information down in the description box. And if you have questions, comments, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. I talk back. Talk to me, I talk back. I know sometimes y'all follow people on social media, um, Facebook celebrities, social media celebrities, and they don't talk. They don't talk. Now, sometimes they got too much stuff to do. People can't respond to every single comment or their team can't get to every single comment. But while I'm on this scale you know i don't mind talking with y'all even if you like i didn't like that box you put up there i just be like oh okay but at least you talk to me i like the engagement now don't be mean <laughs> don't be completely mean because that's i'll just like have to block you but anyway that's it for this video i will i'll check in with y'all soon because the holidays are approaching. Thanksgiving is this Thursday. So I'll most likely post somewhere on my Facebook, um, somewhere in some story or even vlog about Thanksgiving or something. And I started like, I was gonna vlog in the gym, but I have this big thing about like my form, like is not the best. <laughs> so I worked out with friends and stuff before and it just makes me a little bit more conscious. I rather just get it done and just do it. I'm not trying to do tutorials for anyone, but every now and then I'll show you guys when I'm like on the bike or something. But, <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't tell you. So I got accepted to this campaign for a company for fitness, right? I agree, but when they sent me the brief and the information, it had a lot to do with like routines. <laughs> And I can't dance, so I was like, uh, I don't know about this. So, I didn't do it. But, yeah, the whole thing about form in the gym. But I've been, like, jumping to the gym. I've been in, trying to go to the gym because, of course, Thanksgiving is in a, is in a few days. I don't want to be like, I'm going to start when a new year. Just, no, I just, just start now. Because when I was going hard earlier this year, I lost a lot of weight. Of course, it was around my birthday. So you'll see in my birthday pictures, my face is a little bit slimmer and stuff. Um, yeah, I was working out a little bit more, walking a little bit more and depression, I stopped. But actually working out helps with it. So mm -mm, I won't be stopped now because I feel so much better after going to the gym. Plus, look better, look good, feel good, encourage and motivate others. So. 
yeah the reason why i keep stalling is because i feel like there was something else i wanted to say but that's okay i will let y'all know when i remember <laughs> bye hey y'all so we just left the gym and i had to go um mail something at ups i'm still hanging out with my sister that's the cheesecake I was talking about. Oh yeah, we had the other one of them. It was too sugary. It it's so like, sugary. Wow. That cotton blues cheesecake. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna show you. This is the cheesecake that I got the last time, and I didn't try the blueberry because that's the one that my nephew told me was gross. I tried caramel, and I think that's the regular one, the original, and the strawberry. But it's like super sugary. I was gonna record a little bit more while we were in the store, but Pam got a phone call. And then I got sidetracked, but I ended up giving in and I got Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I don't know if y'all watched my last video and Deja was stopping me from getting the biscuits. I got the biscuits. I wanted to treat myself because I haven't been eating meat. It's almost a month and it's been hard. Like I've been spending more money because a lot of the like vegan options or non-meat options cost more. But unless you like buy produce all the time and then I like buying produce, but if you want it to stay fresh, you can't stock up. Like the mistake I made was buying mushrooms, like not so much in bulk, but they were BOGO one week and I got mushrooms. And then I went back to the store like the next day and I wanted some sliced baby bello mushrooms. No, sliced portobello mushrooms. I got those and then I noticed I wanted to eat something else. So I ended up eating those impossible nuggets, which I got some more. I wanna show y'all these. And there's a rebate on aisle for these. I wanna put the information to um, the post in the description box if anybody eats these but you can get money back for these if i can find it if it's not too late but these actually don't taste that bad and then when you get your barbecue sauce even better um these were like 7.99 or 7.45 or something but i'm gonna be eating less because this this life is expensive okay and then they had like the crumble like i could get the actual meat that's ground but i didn't feel like i wanted to eat the nuggets they were good anyway so i got the cheddar bay biscuits let me put this back in the bag i got some salmon y'all these cheddar bay biscuits gonna get me in trouble this was 6.45 i had a coupon on the Publix app so that was kind of like my little ration rationality of me thinking like i can cheat a little bit but i think the sodium see the sodium is 500 milligrams for one biscuit one biscuit Okay, so I think the sodium is due to the seasoning, and the seasoning is like a half teaspoon of garlic herb blend. It must be salt. It's the salt. I don't know, y'all. I guess because these last a while, but anyway. I haven't been a Red Lobster in so long, but I love the biscuits, so I had to treat myself. It's Saturday anyway, weekend, whatever. But, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys. I forgot the whole purpose of me being here. So, I did a video about this a long time ago, and I was like, asking my sister, um, can I hold these um oh sorry these smuckers uncrustables they were bogo this week and i'm scanning them you scan the barcode it's the little barcode on the ncp app the ncp app is an app where you can um scan your purchases and do like surveys and stuff and you can get um gift cards so i redeemed like my amazon gift cards from doing this and i've had it for a few years so I was just explaining that to her and I was like, well, let me let everybody else know. I talked about it before a long time ago. Um, I'll put a link down if you wanna try to sign up. You have to apply for it. Everybody doesn't get accepted. But right now I'm about to scan these and basically you put the barcode of the item, the quantity, and um, was there a promotion? Yes, it was a BOGO promotion. I'm selecting, it was a um, store sale. They have this part, store sale. I hit okay. Um, I'm fit. Oh, I got two of them because it was BOGO. It asked you how many of the quantity you got. Um, I'm finished scanning. I hit, I'm finished scanning. It put, it shows Publix. You select the store first, so it shows Publix. I'm going to hit continue. Put the price at the end. And then it just like gains points for scanning it. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys. If you want to earn extra gift cards, it wasn't really about the BOGO Uncrustables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure if she like mind me telling y'all she got Uncrustables. Those things be good though. I ain't had one of those in a minute. Bye-bye. <laughs>